this is a circuit which, is, which having an integrated circuit and the discrete circuit combination and these are all the same circuit as you can see in the let's begin hey guys my name is tarun and you're watching innovation begins in this video we're gonna know about what is the integrated circuit and the discrete circuit why do we morely prefer to the integrated circuit rather than the discrete circuits and before getting to the video i want to request you one thing make sure you subscribe my channel so that you get uh, my videos if, if you want to get instant notification of my channel make sure you hit that bell icon if you want to see my article make sure you check the description uh, below so that you will get an old content what i'm talking in this video and let us start the video. The circuit containing a passive components like resistor, inductor, capacitor and the active components diode, transistor etc are jointly wired on a printed circuit board which is known as PCB. Such circuit is known as discrete circuit because each component added to a circuit discreetly so that is the reason why it is called as a discrete circuit. There are two main disadvantages in a discrete circuit. The first one the large electronic circuit that may have very large number of components as result discrete assembly will occupy a very large space. The second disadvantage is they are formed by a soldering which causes a problem of reliability. To overcome these problems of space conservation and reliability, engineers started a drive to miniaturize circuits. This led to develop of microelectronics in late 1950s. Microelectronics is a batch of electronics engineering which deals with an electronic circuit. A microcircuit is a simply a miniature assembly of an electronic component. One type of such circuit is integrated circuit, generally abbreviated as an IC. An integrated circuit is one in which a circuit components such as transistors, diodes, resistors, capacitors are automatically a part of small semiconductor chip. An integrated circuit consists of number of circuit components like transistor, diode, resistor. These are inner connections in a single pa small pack to perform a complete electronic function. And the inner connections in a single small pack to perform a complete electronic function these components are performed and connected within a small chip of a semiconductor material. The size of an integrated circuit is extremely small. In fact, ICs are so small they, that you normally need a microscope to see the connections between the components. No components of an IC integrated circuit are, are seen to project above the surface of a chip. This is because all the components are formed within the chip. This is a circuit which, is, which having an integrated circuit and the discrete circuit combination and these are all the same circuit as you can see in the video which is soldered, discrete, discrete circuit is nothing but which is soldered backside as you can see in the video and I hope you can see it. There will be no ads in my videos, so it's totally free to watch. So make sure you subscribe, share, like my video. Thanks for watching.